In today's video, we'll be showing you how to update the install and the RBC battery date within this smart APC unit. This is the number one most common misstep during the installation process, which results in the replaced battery light not being reset by the UPS unit. A uh, quick rundown on how this unit um, does a battery test is every two weeks the unit is programmed to run a self-test where it will put a 10 second load onto the um, internal battery cartridge and basically it'll make sure that the battery is charging properly the voltages are correct that it's meeting the manufacturing specific manufacturer specification of the ups unit when under a specific load uh, just to make sure that the battery and the UPS is performing uh, per manufacturer specification. This test runs in the background, so if it passes, um, you, you, you usually won't see anything. Um, if it does fail, you'll typically see that replace UPS battery light on. But another um, test that it goes through, um, it just checks the battery uh, date, the install date and the RBC date, which is updated in the UI of the UPS unit, so you'll use these four buttons on the screen to update that, which we're going to be showing you how to do so. Even if you've installed this battery and you have not uh, changed the date, when it goes through the self-test, if the battery is working perfectly fine and it goes through the self-test and passes the self-test, even if the battery passes that, the date on here, if it's old enough um, and it has not been updated, the UPS will throw the replace battery alarm. Um, even if the battery is good. So it's important that you do this immediately after installing the battery and we're going to show you how to access the menu and how to update the um, two dates within the UPS uh, UI interface. So we're going to, from the main screen here, we're going to click the escape button. It's going to take us to the main menu. We're going to scroll down to configuration. We're going to click OK. We're going to scroll down to battery, click OK. And you can see that this battery was installed April 2020. The uh, time of this video, it's April 2025, so five years later. And it's obviously time to replace that um, battery, which we have already done. Um, and now we are going to update this battery date. Now, to do so, you are going to click OK. And we don't need to update the month because it is April. Um, so we kind of left out there. We're going to click OK, and we're going to update it to 2025. We're going to click OK, and notice a 1 out of 4. So we're done with step 1. There's another date we need to update. You're going to press the down arrow button, and this is the date of the actual RBC. Now, it's the same date as uh, 20. It's going to be same date, April 2025 for us. Um, so we're going to click OK, we're going to click OK again, and then we're going to use the arrow to move up to 2025. We're going to click OK. Now we're going to scroll down. We're going to replace notification to 483 days. That's OK. And then you can see replace battery alarm reminder in 14 days. This is basically the self-test that the system does. It's going to run in 14 days, and it, the system is already programmed to do every two weeks. It's going to run in the background. It's a self-test. Um, there's nothing to do on that end. Um, so you're going to click Escape. You're going to press Escape again. You're going to press Escape again. And you're back at the main menu where you can kind of navigate through this. Now, one thing we want to note, these UPS units, they require about 24 hours for the system to fully charge the battery within the unit. Even if it comes mostly charged, ours comes pretty much fully charged, but even when installing it in here, you may not see a full bar. Um, this unit has been running for a little bit, so you are kind of seeing a full bar here, but don't worry if it comes like halfway or, or a quarter or whatever. It takes about 24 hours per APC spec, regardless of if, uh, even if it's a new battery um, that comes fully charged, it will kind of not show the full charge. So give it 24 hours without any power outages, do not run any self-tests, um, and you should be good to go. Um, and now that you've updated this date, give it a little bit time for the system to run. It'll run the self-test. 
um, and then um, that replaced battery light um, should disappear um, after it runs that self-test. So like I said, you have to update the battery dates inside the UI. Otherwise, even if you've installed the brand new battery, connected it up, and it reads the battery, it will throw an error that you need to replace the battery, even if the battery is good. Um, this instruction is going to be the same regardless of the UPS. You can kind of see our UPS number that we're using here. There are a handful of UPS units that have the same UI. The screen will look the same or similar. You'll have similar buttons. Um, the steps will be identical to it. Um, you're going to access the date, um, the, the date in the same menu, submenus. Um, so don't worry if your UPS unit doesn't kind of not resemble this here. Um, as long as your screen, your UI kind of looks similar, the way you're going to get to those dates is going to be the exact same.